Okay, I'm undecided. Do Filipinos make good listers on eBay? After listening to the eBay Scavenger podcast, I'm still just as confused about their effectiveness. I mean, you can look at both sides of the issue. Uh, Positive sides, they're cheap. Um, They can demonstrate some loyalty. Um, uh, Yeah, maybe I should have made a list. I really can't think of anything else positive. They're smart, I think. They're they're known to be hard workers. Uh, but on the negative side, it's like there could be a communication problem. They're on an island. They don't get much internet. Uh, the lady even said that they don't. Many don't know about eBay. I went on Omega Omegle and talked to. Uh, I think a Filipino, she just, she kept on insisting she was, and I said, well, uh, I'm surprised you have internet, and she's like, we all have internet, and all this, but now this lady on the Scavenger podcast is like, no, they don't, <laughs> I didn't think they did, I thought, I think this, the pride uh, gets in their way, and that that's, that's what this lady is demonstrating too, she specifically wanted Somebody from the Philippines, like herself, she's in America right now. Somebody who's, uh, who's female, okay. So she she really limited her choices. She originally got a guy who pretended to be a female on Elance, not Guru, not Fiverr, Elance, <laughs> and he he just he said he was a t- part of a team. A male female team, but he kept responding to her. She was always seeing him on the Skype, and she kept asking him where she was, where the the female part of the team was, and he said she's in the house. So this lady parted ways with him simply because his, he's a male. Okay, <laughs> she's Filipino. She lists on eBay. She doesn't want to disclose a damn thing about her sales history. Everything is. Um, secretive with with her i i don't know if if, if uh i would want to go it's a the philip to a filipino if i had a ebay business and i needed somebody to help with listings it's it's like <clears throat> she's going to uh the reason i'm asking is cuz she, she's going to uh try to recruit more filipinos she has one now after the fourth try but she wanted to get like 10 of them and it's like the eBay hosts on eBay scavengers forgot their name, but they they said, yeah, maybe they could, uh, maybe other people might be interested in Filipinos. And it's like, nah, uh, it's, they're just, they don't seem like that, that great of a choice. Just, the lady even said they get power, <laughs> power outages normally for eight hours at a stretch sometimes. So it's it's a it's a really economically challenged country with very headstrong people, um, and it, there's a culture difference and language difference, and it's just it doesn't seem like the the best choice. You'd really have to strongly believe in those people, and if if you've come from the country, then you're gonna I uh you're gonna identify with them better is there a better place to, to look for a, a relister I have no idea uh, I guess since I don't even sell on eBay but I mean I can make comments on what I've heard on, on this podcast at least they didn't they didn't really compare anywhere else it's just eBay or a, it's just like Philippines or not um, I say no I mean, they just got too much going against them. Yeah, they're cheaper, but then that's that's gonna impede on the the quality of of uh, the types of listings. Because she wanted these people to do Photoshop and other weird things. She really was demanding. I wouldn't even bother with Photoshop on eBay. I could do. I could put up a listing in, in a short time on on my iPad. And I don't bother with any Photoshop. Uh, Just take the pictures as is. Why waste that time?